kuna huyu anasema hello sama kuligo naomba kujua je ni kweli nani meto hazwez kulusu umeme kupita oh this question it is really technical um sio kwamba nani meto hazilusu umeme kupita at all hapana but zinaruhusu kwa kiwango kidogo sana so i can say 99% of nani meto poor conduct of electric current but 1% of nani meto a good conductor of electric current so nitaanza ni kwa kusema kwa nini nani meto asilimia tisa ya nani meto ni poor conductor of electric current so kuelezea point hii nita compare between meto and nani meto so let me take example of sodium and chlorine hizi ni element mbili ambazo zote zinapatikana kwenye period moja lakini one is a metal and another one it is a nani metal so sodium is a metal and uh, chlorine is a nani metal so tutaweza kuona kwa nini sodium is a good conductor of electric current lakini chlorine is a poor conductor of electric current so nimechukua hizi element kwa sababu zote zinapatikana kwenye period moja kwa hiyo zitakuwa zina uh, zote zitakuwa zina constant number of shell au zile mnaziita sometime energy level or orbits so maana yake zote zitakuwa zina experience sawa kabisa electron electron repulsion ndio maana nime prefer kutumia element ambazo zinapatikana kwenye um, same period So um mwanzo nisha yuko kusema kwamba ili kitu kiwe kina uwezo kuweza kupitisha electric current lazima kuwe kina sifa mbili sifa ya kwanza lazima kuwe kina charge ambazo hizo charge it's like electrons because we know that electrons it is a negative charge so mara nyingi napenda kutumia neno charge that is condition number one and condition number two those charges should be able to move hizo charge lazima ziwe kwenye movement zisiwe stationary so any substance ambayo itakuwa ina charge na hizo charges zikuwa zina move basi zitapelekea hicho kitu kiwe kina sifa ya kuweza kupitisha umeme so let's come to sodium and chlorine tumesema hizi element zote zinapatikana kwenye same period lakini kuna difference the difference between sodium and chlorine kwanza hizi ni element ambazo zina zina belong for different atoms okay in term of number of protons sodium wana 11 number of protons yani ni charge ambayo inapatikana ndani ya ya nucleus lakini pia chlorine ana 17 number of protons yani charge ambayo inapatikana kwenye inayopatikana ndani ya ya nucleus na hiyo charge huwa ni positive lakini pia sodium na chlorine wote wame possess um, electrons number of electrons and the electrons it is a negative charge lakini ndani ya nucleus kuna protons ambazo ni positive charge kwa kwenye kila atom huwa kuna attraction between uh, protons and the electrons kwa sababu hizo ni opposite charge and we always know that opposite charge attract so ukija kwa kwa sodium sodium nucleus yake ina charge ya positive moja. lakini chlorine nucleus yake ina charge ya 17 maana yake ni nini kwa kuwa wote wanapatikana kwenye same period na wote wana same number of shells maana yake nini sodium ana uwezo mdogo wa kuweza kwa attract electrons ambazo zinapatikana kwenye outermost shell kwa sababu ana charge ya moja ndani ya nucleus na uwezo wa kuweza kwa attract electrons from the outermost shell huaga una determine unakuwa determined na charge ambayo inapatikana ndani ya nucleus kwa hiyo sodium watakuwa na uwezo mdogo wa kuweza kwa attract electrons anapokuwa na uwezo mdogo wa kuweza kwa attract electrons maana yake zile electrons zitakuwa free to move kwa sababu haziko attracted kwa kiwango kikubwa 
kwa hiyo kitendo cha sodium kuwa na electrons ambazo ziko free to move hiyo ndio sababu inayopelekea metals ziwe good conductor of electric current kwa sababu zime satisfy zile condition mbili ambao condition ya kwanza ni kitendo cha kuwa na electrons au charge na, na sifa ya pili hizo charge lazima ziwe kwenye movement ndio maana tunasema um, metals are good conductor of electric current lakini tukiangalia upande wa chlorine which is a non metal na tumeona charge yake ti 17 charge ambayo ni kubwa sana maana yake ni atazi attract zaidi zile electrons kitendo yake kuzi attract zaidi zile electrons maana yake hizo electrons hazitakuwa free to move kwa kiwango kikubwa ndio maana tunasema kwamba non metal zenyewe ni poor conductor of electric current japokuwa zina electrons lakini zile electrons haziko free to move. Nafikiri hapo toka tumeelewa kwamba kwa nini um, nani metal a poor conductor of electric current and kwa nini metals a good conductor of um, electric current. So hapo nitakuwa nimemaliza hili swali la kwa nini asilimia tisina tisa of nani metal a poor conductor of electric current. So now let me finish by saying that 1% of nani metal a good conductor of, el- of electric current nataka nizungumzie um, carbon carbon it is a nani metal but carbon exists in different forms ambazo hizo forms tunaziita um, aerotrope so nitaenda kuzungumzia aerotrope moja ya carbon ambayo inaitwa graphite So graphite sometimes watu walikuwa wanataka i consider to be a metal kwa sababu ina sifa moja ina sifa kama mbili za 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 metal lakini kwa leo tutazungumzia sifa moja tu kwamba graphite it is a non metal but it is a good conductor of electric current so tuweze kuangalia ni kitu gani ambacho kina kimepelekea graphite which is a non metal to be a good conductor of um, electric current Tumesema kwamba graphite it is a carbon. Na carbon kwenye outermost shell huwa ina form um, valence electrons. Um, let me make clear. Kwenye kila atom kuna zile inner shell na outermost shell. Sasa inner shell electrons zote ambazo huwa zinapatikana kwenye inner shell zenye huwa tunaziita core electrons. Na core electrons mara nyingi has participate kwenye chemical reaction kwa sababu zenyewe zinakuwa zipo karibu zaidi na nucleus zinakuwa attracted more. Lakini zile electrons ambazo zinapatikana kwenye outermost shell kwenye ile shell ya mwisho kabisa zenyewe huwa tunaziita valence electrons na zenyewe ndio huwa zina zinaenda kuparticipate kwenye reaction mara nyingi zaidi kwa sababu zenyewe ziko mbali na ile nucleus kwa hiyo sio rahisi kuvutwa kwa hiyo ni easy to to do a chemical reaction So ukiweza kuangalia kwenye carbon kwenye outermost shell kuna four electrons na carbon kama carbon zenyewe huwa zina ability ya kuweza kuungana zenyewe kwa zenyewe kuweza kutengeneza longest chain kwenye chemistry hiyo behavior tunaita catenation so kwenye graphite kwenye graphite carbon huwa anatumia electrons zake tatu kati ya zile nne kuweza kubondi na carbon nyingine na hiyo carbon nyingine yenyewe inatumia electrons tatu kuweza kubondi na carbon nyingine kwa hiyo kuja kuona kwamba karibia kwenye kila carbon kutakuwa kuna electrons moja ambayo inabakia kama free na structure ambayo inakuwa formed kwa kutumia zile electrons tatu between carbon to carbon huwa tunaita trigonal shape lakini hicho sio ambacho tunataka kutuzungumzia tunachotaka kuzungumzia sisi ni ile electrons moja ambayo inabaki kwenye kila carbon pale anapokuwa amefanya bonding na carbon mwingine. So zile electrons ambazo zinabakia free zinakuwa free to move amba, am, ambacho kitendo hicho kinapelekea tuweze kuona kwamba even graphite which is a non metal na yenyewe ina satisfy kuweza conduct electric current kwa kiwango kikubwa kwa sababu ina electrons lakini pia hizo electrons ziko free to move. 
ndio maana nikasema kwamba asilimia tisa of nani meto a poor conductor of electric current lakini asilimia moja nilikuwa naizungumzia sasa hapa graphite ni good conductor of electric current na um is faida kubwa hizi graphite huwa zinatumika kwenye kutengeneza um, electrode tunafahamu kwamba electrode is a substance that allow current to pass na kama ushafanya hizi experiment za electrolysis uh, kwa level experiment za electrode potential kwa advance mara nyingi sana umeshazitumia hizi graphite kama electrode na mara nyingi sana tuna, tunazipendelea hizi hizi graphite kwa sababu kuzitumia kama electrode kwa sababu zina high melting point kiasi kwamba hata ukizitumia kwenye process yako kwenye uh, mekanizimu yako au kwenye experiment yako zenyewe ni vigumu sana kuweza ku kwa sababu zina melting point kubwa zaidi nafikiri nitakuwa nimeweza kuweka sawa kwamba kwa nini um, nani meto ni poor conductor of electric current na kwa nini meto zenyewe ni a uh, good conductor of electric current thank you